Hey, what's up guys, it's Diana here and welcome back to the channel. So we've been, been covering like a ton of live streaming content and if you're a PC user, it kind of feels like you've been getting the short end of the stick and you'd be kind of right when it comes to the Canon cameras and streaming. But Canon has done something that is just freaking amazing and I'm just floored with it. So they just released today the EOS Utility Beta. Now they already had the EOS Utility app or like the software tool that you could use but the utility beta is something that they literally just released so that especially like with now um, there's not a lot of capture cards or any like live streaming tools or gear that you can really find uh, and then the HDMI version like with the M50 and stuff and other cameras it sucks you got to turn off autofocus this mitigates all of that basically it puts you in the mindset of having like Ecamm Live's virtual camera but for free but only for PC users <laughs> so um, I don't know if this is coming to Mac. It only right now is available on PC. So, you know, we have nothing to complain about Mac users. So calm down. So, <laughs> so let's go through the steps of uh, what I had to do to get this to work on the PC. So once you go to the link so that you can pick your specific camera, not all of them work. So you'll see from the list what's available. It'll take you to the drivers and downloads page. You want to click on that EOS utility beta. Once this downloads, you want to unzip that file. Um, I use like WinRAR or whatever to do it. And then you will need to restart your computer. Then you don't need to run anything. You would put your camera. I have mine in movie mode and I connected it to the USB to the camera and then went ahead and plugged it into the USB port in my computer. I tried this in Google Hangouts. I tried it in uh, StreamYard as well. So I assume any of the other ones would work for, you know, Facebook, uh, YouTube, or whatever the case, you should see it as the utility beta virtual camera drop down option when you're getting ready to select it. And this is a game changer. You don't have to run anything. Your computer is not using any additional resources. And I'm floored that Canon would even do this. There's no word if it's coming to Mac at all. There's no word if it's coming to more cameras. So it's just like, you kind of can't be mad at them for giving us this because they didn't have to, and then we didn't expect them to anyway. So I'm really pumped and excited. I think, um, I hope for 2020, 2021, Ken has taken over a new leaf and things we're seeing with the R5 and with stuff like this in the midst of this coronavirus is something that we can kind of come to expect with them because uh, we haven't been getting much out of them lately. So uh, this is really cool and I'm really excited about this. So if you don't have a capture card, you don't have to worry about it because thankfully Canon came to the rescue for once. So let me know down in the comments, is this going to be a game changer for you? Maybe it's going to help you save money because you don't have to buy or use a software or, uh, you know, maybe your church could use it and it's going to be a game changer for you that way. So let me know down below. I'm pumped for the PC users. Uh, and this is going to be interesting. I'm looking forward to see what happens next.